Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my effort to play catch up with things in science I missed, I did see an update on asteroid 2024 YR4, and I had to tell you guys about it because we have been all over the place with this asteroid. I made a video earlier this year where at the time, scientists thought that this asteroid could possibly possibly hit the Earth, and there was a lot of dramatic YouTube thumbnails. But then scientists were like, no wait, just kidding, that's not gonna happen. But now they're like, well, no wait, maybe there is some danger, just not what we initially thought. So let's catch up with asteroid 2024 YR4. What is the real story with this asteroid? And what, if anything, should we be expecting, slash preparing, slash making dramatic YouTube thumbnails about? So as I said, earlier this year, there were briefly some fears that this 200 foot wide or 60 meter wide asteroid, which is city crushing size, could potentially strike the Earth on or around December 22nd, 2032. It was given the highest chance, 3.1% of hitting our home planet that scientists have ever measured for such a giant space rock, which I understand at the time, kind of a big deal. But I think the day I posted my video, the asteroid was reassigned to Torino scale level zero, the level for no hazard, as additional tracking of its orbital path has reduced its possibility of intersecting the Earth to below the one in 1000 threshold. Okay, so it was ruled out, we all had a bit of a laugh, and we moved on. Classic internet cope. However, just because the Earth was ruled out does not mean that everyone else in the neighborhood was. And in fact, the odds that it will crash into the moon have risen to 4.3%, according to new data from the James Webb Space Telescope, which was released in May 2025. A new preprint study, which has not yet been peer-reviewed, is the first to estimate how such a large collision could affect the Earth. It would be the largest asteroid to hit the moon in around 5,000 years, according to the lead study author Paul Weigert of the University of Western Ontario. According to these researchers, if a huge asteroid smashes into the moon in 2032, the giant explosion would send debris streaming towards the Earth, which could threaten satellites and create a spectacular meteor shower. Paul Weigert added that the impact would be comparable to a large nuclear explosion in terms of the amount of energy released. And when you start talking about nuclear explosions in space, that gets all the YouTube thumbnails and the internet very excited again. Up to 220 million pounds or 100 million kilograms of material would shoot out from the moon's surface, according to a series of simulations that were run by the researchers. If the asteroid hit the side of the moon facing Earth, which is roughly a 50% chance, up to 10% of this debris could be pulled in by Earth's gravity over the following days. Now, Weigert did say that the Earth's atmosphere would protect the surface from the millimeter and centimeter sized lunar rocks. But these same tiny meteors could be capable of destroying satellites, which in 2032, there are expected to be a lot more of. Weigert said that a centimeter sized rock traveling at tens of thousands of meters per second is a lot like a bullet. And I don't think it takes any of us a lot of imagination to foresee the damage that that could do. And he added, in the days after the impact, there could be more than a thousand times the normal number of meteors threatening Earth's satellites. But again, we're talking about pretty small odds here. The odds of a direct impact on the near side of the moon remain at just 2%. And since our asteroid is not expected to be visible again till 2028, this is once again a bit of a wait and see. And that waiting isn't actually a deal breaker per se. According to Weigart, even if a direct hit was found to be likely, there is still enough time for humanity to plan a mission to spare the moon. And if you remember from NASA's DART mission, we do have some asteroid smashing experience. 2024 YR4 is half as wide and has 10% of the mass of Dimorphos, which NASA's DART mission 
coalition smashed into in 2022, successfully changing its trajectory. Weigert said that if 2024 YR4 is on a collision course with the moon, this could be a potentially good target for another test of our planetary defense. Though he did add that trying to deflect something, potentially zooming in so close to Earth, could be a little dangerous. Which I'm thinking, yeah, that sounds like a act three plot twist. We try and deflect it away from the moon and now it's headed straight for us. Probably shouldn't have even said that out loud. The study, which was published online last week, has been submitted to the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and I'll have a link to it in the description below if you guys want to check it out. It's actually pretty interesting. But again, this is all really about the odds, right? Like, the odds that asteroid 2024 YR4 will strike the moon sits at now approximately 4%. That means that there is a 96% chance that it will not impact the moon. And those are pretty good odds, but those odds are probably not going to change until the asteroid comes back into view in June 2028 three years from now. When it does return into view, new observations will be made, and it will not take long for astronomers to confidently determine whether the asteroid will, or much more likely, will not hit the moon. And at that point, we will have another four years to decide what, if anything, we're going to do about it. Richard Moisel from the European Space Agency says he feels that a lunar impact remains unlikely and no one knows what the exact effects would be. But he admits that this is just potentially a very rare event. And space is certainly known for showing off, occasionally, very rare events. He said it is a very rare event for an asteroid this large to impact the moon and it is rarer still that we know about it in advance. The impact would likely be visible from Earth, and so scientists will be very excited by the prospect of observing and analyzing it. I am sure that detailed computational simulations will be done over the next few years. He also pointed out, though, that it would certainly leave a brand new crater on the surface. However, he said that we wouldn't be able to accurately predict how much material would be thrown from the surface and how much if any of it, would reach Earth. But obviously, as we're looking to establish a prolonged presence on the moon, monitoring space for objects that may strike the moon will become increasingly important. So yeah, I think this is where the story might sit for a while. Unless I post this video tomorrow and they're like, just kidding, no shot at all, moon's 100% safe. And then I'm going to be like, I think I need to chill out on these asteroid stories. <laughs> what do you guys think? Massive asteroid hits the moon and we all get a light show? Or are you looking at that 4% odds and thinking, what's all the fuss? Never tell me the odds. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.